Lindsay Chair from Woodshop Diaries and today I'm going to show you how I built this kids nesting table with four storage seats out of a single sheet of plywood and a couple of 1x3s for the table base. So if you've got a kid in your life or you are the kid in your life, you're never too old to have a place to color, so let's get building. With school starting back and everything this year looking a little different than normal, I wanted to share some fun desk projects in the coming weeks to help inspire some unique workspace ideas for the home. And I'm kicking things off by showing the smallest little desk idea, this kid's nesting table. This was such a fun little project that includes the table, four seats, plus cubby storage, all built from a single sheet of plywood and just a few one by threes, and just four tools. So I've got the plans linked below and I'll show you how it came together in this video. The first thing I did was start cutting down my plywood sheet. I've got a full video on how I cut down my plywood sheets that I will link up here in the corner if you're interested. And I've laid out the entire plywood cut diagram in the plans linked below, but I'll do a brief overview of how I cut it down here in the video too. The first thing I did was rip a 14 inch wide strip from the sheet and set it aside later that will be used for the sheet sides. From the remaining piece of plywood, I cut a 30 inch long piece that will be used later as the top. Then I cut a 45 inch piece from the remaining sheet, rip two strips from the edge to be used as the seat cubby fronts later, then finally cut two squares from this piece, one at 22 inches and one at 23 inches square. These will be the seat top and bottoms. If you got lost in there, don't worry, I've got the complete cut diagram in the plans linked below. Now that my sheet was cut down, I grabbed both the 22 inch and the 23 inch square and used the speed square to mark 45 degree lines at each corner. Then I use my saw guide and circular saw to cut along these diagonal marks to make four equal sized triangles. The smaller triangles from the 22 inch piece will be the bottoms and the larger triangles from the 23 inch piece will be the seat tops. Once the triangles were cut, I began cutting the sides and the front pieces to complete the actual seat. I measured the sides of the bottom triangle and cut two pieces from that leftover 14 inch plywood strip that I ripped at the beginning to fit around the triangle. Then I set my miter saw bevel to 45 degrees and cut a piece for the front of the seat from one of the small strips that I ripped earlier. Both edges of these pieces should be beveled at 45 degrees. Once I had all these pieces cut and dry fitted for all the seats, I warmed up the iron and edge banded all of the exposed plywood edges. That's an optional step, I just like the look of the cleaner edges, but you could leave them exposed if that's your preference. And once that was done, I gave them a good sanding and began assembly. To assemble the seats, I simply use wood glue and one and a quarter inch wood screws. I assembled the sides together first as sort of a sub assembly, and then I moved to the top and the front piece and assembled those together as well, kind of as another sub assembly.
Then I attach them together around the bottom, just like shown here with wood glue and wood screws. Once the bottom was attached to the sides, I flipped it back over and carefully drove a screw into each side of the front from the side pieces. I was super careful not to drill or drive all the way through because this is at an awkward angle. It was easy to do, so I was very careful about it. And finally, I attached the top. I sanded off any glue squeeze out and set it off to the side. And I won't show you all four seats since they're all exactly the same. You get the idea. Next, it was time to move on to the table base. I built this from one by threes. Well, kind of. I accidentally marked the wrong length on the one by threes and it ended up having to swap out some of my pieces for plywood because I ran out of one by threes and did not want to go back to the store. So just ignore that. So I had just enough one by three and um, I cut the piece too short, so just ignore the fact that I'm using plywood for this particular piece. It'll be painted, so you won't ever know, but this was supposed to be a 1x3, so uh, crap happens. Let's glue this up. I assembled the base pieces in the middle using wood glue and dowels, but you could also use pocket holes or more fancy joinery if you wish. The top X of the table base is assembled with pieces laid flat like this. Once it was glued up, I clamped it and set it to the side. The bottom X on the table is assembled with pieces standing straight up like this. I also ended up having to use plywood with this section too. I assembled this X using wood glue and dowels as well and clamped it until it was dry. To keep things square, I used a couple of corner clamps in addition to the pipe clamp to just keep it from being super wonky and out of square. Once the X's were both dry, I attached the legs. I wanted to attach the bottom X about four inches from the bottom of the leg, so I used a spacer block to help me get started on the first one, and then I just measured off for the rest of them. I attached everything using wood screws, and I was painting the space black, so once it was complete, I just puttied over the screw holes. But you could definitely get fancier with different joinery that you don't see if you wanted. After the bottom X was in place, I did the same thing with the top X, just worked my way around attaching it to the legs. Okay, table base is done. I set the space aside, puttied and painted it, and while the paint dried, I prepared the top. I trimmed the top piece down to be a perfect square and then applied edge banding around the plywood edges just to make it look a little cleaner. 
After the paint had dried on the table base, I flipped it upside down and installed it onto the top using one and a quarter inch wood screws. I gave the top and the seats a couple coats of clear poly and then I had an idea. One thing I did not think about when I was designing this um, piece is that when I put all the pieces together, I had this corner right here that just, like I didn't know what to do with it and I was gonna just leave it, but I started thinking and I came up with some way to trim it out and it's not probably the best option in the world, but I found some cove molding in my scrap pile and I just cut these tiny little baby pieces that would cover up this triangle and I'm just gonna glue those on and at least you won't be able to see like the plywood edges. It may not, it may still look a little weird but at least the edges are covered and the corner is not quite so sharp. I set my miter saw to 45 degrees and cut eight tiny pieces and glued them into these seat corners to cover up this kind of awkward little exposed plywood edge. Once the glue was dry, it was finished. I thought this project was really neat with the seats that slid up under the table and provided some extra storage for stuffed animals or notebooks or crayons, whatever. It's definitely not the fanciest project I've ever built, but it might be one of the cutest. You can be the judge of that. So if you're looking for a great weekend project to tackle, grab a sheet of plywood, a couple of tools, and be sure to head to the plans linked below and get building. And if you want to follow along to see more upcoming desk ideas, be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on what's coming next. Thanks so much for watching you guys and until next time, happy building.